Hold on some drag. Uh, I'm not sure how, since he is really small. Well, not too small. Oh, here's the, uh, uh, I think, one of the yellow fins. So you can see the stripes prominent. Or it might be a stripe majara, Mahara. I don't know. The stripes are definitely there. by Miami is something else. A guy just went by in a car. Hanging out, singing with his shouts as loud as he can. Hey, you're awesome! Like, over he's looking at me. Give me the peace sign. <laughs> so I gave it back. And I could not, oh my goodness, what a take and a bungle. And I could not tell if he was being serious or sarcastic. You know? If he was like a like going hippie on him, or, you know, even religious. Um, maybe he felt bad for me. <laughs> Look at that poor schmuck. He's so feeble, he's sitting in a chair, fishing. He can't even be bothered to stand up. Nobody's with him, no friends. No fishing partners. Maybe I can make him feel better about himself. Just randomly say, you're awesome. You know, hey, you're awesome. Maybe he's related to Mr. McCrary, my eighth, ninth grade, junior high principal. A hey, number one, A hey, number one. Hey, you're awesome, you're the greatest today. All right, well, maybe if he goes by and says it again, I'll get another bite that I can actually hook. Oh, there's one. And uh, it's either too late or too early. I think that was too early, yep. It was almost, it was like one of those, I guess, maybe both. Too late to get the first shot. Too early to get the second one. It's almost like one of the uh, sheep's head bites where they'll sometimes they'll tap it with their nose to see if whatever it is reacts correctly. And if it doesn't react in a natural way, then they know it's bait. Oh, something's messing with it right there, isn't it? Hard to tell. Mm. And there's no more need to worry about fishing on the side because I can see the bottom now and this just three feet. And that means they are totally exposed to um, feathered predators and they will not hang out there. Mm. Their mullet. There's one. Bam. Very subtle bite. Uh, looks like it's owing to its small size. It's not like it's a puffer. It could be a puffer, but it is a another Mahara. This one, the non-barred. Well, no, I see bars on it. He's got bars. They're very faint, though. Um, they're, they're not like the ones before. You can only see it at a certain angle. So, it's another fish, not another species. Might be the smallest one today. As soon as I turn you on, here comes a bite. Oh, oh, he's just fighting a little bit. Wow! Yeah, back reel. He's into the back reel. Like a ladyfish or a big snapper. Oh, he's running. Yeah, he's probably a ladyfish. Oh, he hasn't jumped yet. Swimming straight toward me. I don't know that he's that aware he's. Oh, let me try not to fall in here. No, I'm not gonna horse you. 
So you're trying to... Oh, there's a big porgy of some sort. Nice. Big spot tail, maybe? Oh, well, I, I'm not believing it. That is a permit. That is a freaking permit. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, it's a per... Is it a permit or a palomita? Whatever it is, I've never seen that before. I think it's a permit. Look at that gold. Wow, no wonder I was fighting. I've never caught a permit before. That is so beautiful. Yeah, Palomita has the stripes. That's not a Palomita. Oh, I wish I had a way of measuring. Look at that. Wow. Take a pick. Not something I thought I would ever be catching here. Okay, so that's uh, that's eight. Sorry, eight up to there in the thumb. Uh, wow, yeah, I'm good. Look at that good solid hook, man. Let's see, top and bottom lined up. That's a permit, man. Well, you can just tell from the head, too. What a beautiful fish. I've never seen him in pictures on TV with that gold like that. Orange, yes, gold, never. Unbelievable. I'm so glad I had the camera on. Get that bug off you. All right. Thank you, buddy. Take care. Oh, the fight. Not sure how much bigger he'd have to be for me not to be able to land him. My goodness. Glad I uh, tighten up a drag on that. My goodness, what? You never, you just never know what you're gonna catch <laughs> anywhere, you know? I mean, maybe that's not an unusual catch here in the little five foot deep canal in the middle of uh, urban Miami, right in South Beach. I don't really know if Pompano was going, or Pompano's permit going to schools. I think there's another one. Oh, that was something. Um, that was either much lesser or he's just sprinting in towards me. Yeah, much lesser. Uh, some little uh, mangrove snapper. Yep. Another mangy. Oh, he's pretty though. I'll take a picture of this one. Oh, that red goes away. Oh, that's beautiful. Don't get him this red down in the, or up, uh, in Ponce Inlet where I usually fish for him. Of course, uh, partly maybe because I fish him in the surf. Ah, that's pretty. Species, not uh, species count, but the uh, numbers certainly are add, piling up. And the bite, as soon as, uh, as soon as that sun went down, man. And by down, I just mean went behind the building. I'm seeing how very shallow it was here. That I was catching all those fish over the side. Oh, that's a horrible cast. That's just pathetic. Um, I had no idea it was that shallow. I couldn't actually see the bottom because of the glare of the sun. Oh, and I just got hit. I'm a dead retrieve, fast retrieve. Something smacked it. I bet it took the bait too. Scandalized it. Yeah. And my, uh, trying to tangle up my sinker. <laughs> Ladyfish will do that sometimes. Macro will do that sometimes. Hit a hole or a piece of shrimp being reeled in. Oh, oh yeah, that was one of these. Oh, running towards me once. Oh, no, yeah, he's got some muscle. Just swimming all around, though. Yeah. Come 
more muscle and fight. Oh, this is this is definitely one of those striped ones. This is a yellowfin, big yellowfin. My goodness, Mohara. That's a personal best. My goodness. Yeah, you can see the stripes. Very distinctive. Well, actually, that one I caught two years ago was kind of large too. There he says purple uh, broken stripes there. Uh, I think that's indicative of the yellowfin, not the Irish pompano. Uh, pompano. Well, actually, it is sometimes called an Irish pompano, but it is Irish mohara or mojara, if you prefer. That is clean size. Size. My goodness, 15 seconds without a bite, that's a little outrageous. Oh, there it is. Yep, yep, got it, got it, got it. Oh, he's little. You know, flipping around, flopping around on there. Oh, he's trying to put up a little fight now. But it's just not very big. Another Mahara. Hmm. Another, just a little under fillet size, though. Uh, but it will get a bite. Wish I was as confident about my ability to hook fish that gives me a set bite. I said I was going to throw the uh, Seahawk as soon as the sun went behind the building. It's been a while since it went behind, but... Oh, oh. Uh, oh, there we go. But the action immediately picked up then, so I don't want to... You know, had I stopped for that, I would have not caught the permit. Not only a personal best, but like a white whale kind of species. And this is a little mangy. Really little. It's uh, four, I believe. One, two, three, yeah. No, five. It's five snappers. Oh, this is nice colors. Ow, you little <laughs> Trying to give you a compliment. Yeah, I'm grateful. Oh, drew blood. <laughs> drew blood, so why let him go? Cousin to Drew Bledsoe. Well, that was really rude. House on the video, I'm going to take that out. So, anyway, uh, the action has been really steady since then, so uh, this feels like a bite here. Got a little backbone. Yeah. Being such a light biter. Probably another Mahara. It's pulling more than a puffer. The puffer was like heavy, dead weight, but heavy. That might be what I'm feeling. I, I, I feel some head shakes though. A little different. Nope, puffer. With a few more head shakes. Same one, or same kind. That's the second one of those. All right. I think right after I caught the puffer the last time, I got a lot of action, and I think it was because uh, the puffer was stealing my bait, getting to it before anybody else, and then stealing it. Now that I've taken the puffer out of the circulation, the other fish will have an opportunity to actually get to the bait. Just a little bite. Getting closer. That's that is the spot on the spot. It's not deep enough to. I mean, 
It's almost the spot on the spot. It's the spot next to the spot on the spot. Oh, there's a bite. Here's one of the tentative bites I was talking about. Yep, I was able to pick my spot. Oh, wow, it's got a little muscle. For being such a light biter. Yeah. Oh, and now it's coming up to the top like it's dead. What in the world? Ah! Well, that's a picture, to, at least, because that's really pretty colors. All right, you know, one of your brothers bit my finger, and I didn't appreciate it. I wonder if you could put in a bad word for me. I mean, he was going to go free. Ah! Mother of pus bucket. As are you. Look at the deep mahogany. Stripe on the top of the fin there. Scarlet, dark pink. Oh, it's ridiculous how beautiful these fish are. I think that's why they started calling them mangrove snappers. Not because they hang out in mangroves, because gray snapper, their official name, they, there's no gray there. I mean, they, uh, calling that a gray snapper, that's just a, it's not just a misnomer, it's, an, it's obscenity. Oh, and somebody stood up and said, this will not be tolerated. And, uh, you know, hats off to that guy, or girl. It's probably a girl. Because it was a guy, Certainly in the south. Wouldn't be calling him a gray snapper, a mangrove snapper. He'd be saying, hey, you got yourself a mango. No. Those particular snapper do not live in the root systems of mango trees. In fact, mango trees don't live in saltwater marshes. Oh, 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 man, that was a close, close call.